it's Sarah and welcome to my crochet channel today's video I'm going to show you how to make some frisbee flyers now this crochet pattern has two sizes the smaller one is about five inches across and this bigger one is about six inches across and the only difference is this has one more row of increase to make it just a little bit bigger and of course I'll explain to you how to do that when we get a little farther on in the video these are so much fun and they actually really do fly they're perfect for small dogs and they're perfect for kids medium dogs like them too so you never know what you can do with these fun frisbee flyers and it's also a super great way to use up some of your leftover yarns and you can find this free crochet pattern down in the notes underneath this video to make a frisbee flyer you're going to need about an ounce of two different colors of medium weight number four yarn i really prefer the stiff scratchy yarns similar to like um super saver from red heart because that makes a nice stiff flyer and it flies better you can still use any of your other yarns and cotton would work too if it's a medium number four but i really like the super saver for this project i'm going to be using this green and lavender and you're going to need two different colors but you can use two strands of the same color because these are made holding two strands together as we stitch don't worry i'll show you how to do that you're going to need a stitch marker and that's because we're going to be stitching in the round we won't be joining we'll just stitch in the round we're going to be stitching with an h hook and i know that seems like a small hook for using two strands held together but we want those stitches to be nice and tight you need a needle just to weave in your ends and of course a pair of scissors all right let's get started I've got my stitch marker here all ready to go and I've got my two strands of yarn and something that I do when I'm using two strands of yarn I'll ball them up and I'll put them in some sort of a bowl or basket so that I can easily pull them out and then as I go I just gently pull those two strands together because we don't want one drooping or getting knotted up or anything like that we want them to stay nice and smooth together we're going to begin with our slip knot and we're going to chain 10 chains we're going to take the tail of our yarn and put it on our hook and pull it through that loop because we're going to make a loop with those 10 chains and we're going to make that little stay knot so that our loop of 10 chains doesn't come undone all right now <clears throat> we're going to stitch over this tail of yarn we're going to put our hook inside pull up a loop and just do a little chain one and that's going to get us up on top where we need to be now we're going to stitch 20 single crochets around this 10 chain loop so we'll go in pull up a loop yarn over and go through both loops so there's one two three and i want you to see that i am stitching over that tail of yarn four five also this is going to be a very tight fit six seven eight nine ten now at this point i turn this over and i go ahead and i cut those yarns off because I've stitched over them enough that they're going to stay put so I have 10 single crochets and I need 10 more so we'll just keep going 11 12 13 
14, 15. It's getting snug, so I'm going to go ahead and push this down a little bit because I need to have five more in there. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 single crochets around that loop. Now I still have a little bit showing there, so I'm going to go ahead and clip that just a little closer just to get that out of the way. All right, so I have 20 single crochets around my 10 chain loop. They're in there nice and tight and they're snug. We're going to take our stitch marker and we're going to mark that last stitch because we're not going to join on row two. We're just going to continue around for our next row. But for row one, we have 20 single crochets stitched on our 10 chain loop. All right, let's do row two. For row two, we're going to be doing one and two. We'll be stitching one single crochet in the next and two in the next. Now again, we're not going to join. We're going to go right in that first single crochet and stitch a single crochet. So there's one. Then in the next stitch, we're going to stitch two single crochets. One and two. So that's three. One in the next, four two in the next, five and six. I'm going to pull my yarn out so it stays nice and smooth. So one in the next, one and two in the next, one in the next, one and two in the next. And again, this is stitched extremely tight and so we want it to be tight and we so that it flies well, the stitches are tight and close, all right? So we're going to continue working around stitching one and two, one and two, all the way around till we reach back to where our stitch marker is. Now, if you don't have a stitch marker, you can take another piece of yarn that's a different color and mark that stitch. You can use a safety pin, you can use a hairpin or anything just to mark your stitch. You don't have to have an actual stitch marker. I have stitched one and two all the way around for row two. I'm to my last stitch, so I'm going to pull my stitch marker out and stitch my last two stitches. One and two. And you should have 30 single crochets for row two. Now I'm going to put my stitch marker back in so I can mark that last row. My hook out of the way there. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now, for row three, we're going to do what I call three and one. We're going to stitch one single crochet in the next three. One, two, three. And then we're going to stitch two single crochets in the next. One and two. One single crochet in the next three. One two and three and then two single crochets in the next one and two one single crochet in the next three there's two and three and two single crochets in the next one and two and that's our repeat for row three one two three and two, one, two, three, and two, all the way around till we get back to our stitch marker. I've completed row three, stitching one in the next three, and then two in the next. And now for row four, we're going to do five and two. So we're going to stitch one single crochet in the next five. So there's one, two, three, four, five and then we'll place two single crochets in the next stitch. Don't forget to move your stitch marker up in your last stitch of your previous row. All right, one single crochet in the next five. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then two single crochets in the next. 
one single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, five, and then two in the next. One and two. And that's your repeat for row four. One in the next five, and then two in the next, all the way back around to our stitch marker. I've completed row four, and I moved my stitch marker, stitching five stitches, one in each of the next five, and then two together, all the way around. And if you're going to make one that is five inches, you're going to skip ahead to the next row. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make the six inch one, which is just one additional row, because once you do that additional row, they end up exactly the same. They're stitched exactly the same. So you can decide if you want to stop here and skip this next row. You can just fast forward it on the video, or you can go ahead and add another row. All right. So what we're going to do is do a fifth row of increase. And we're going to do seven and two. So we'll stitch one single crochet in the next seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, pull out some yarn here, and seven. And then we'll stitch two in the next one and two. There we go. I want to keep our yarn smoothed out. One single crochet in the next seven. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then two in the next. One and two. And that's our repeat for row five if you're making the six inch. If you're making the five inch, skip this row. All right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. <clears throat> and then two in the next. One and two. And then I'll just continue repeating that around till I reach my stitch marker. I've completed row five. I've moved my stitch marker up. And something that you need to remember is on each row, you might have a couple of extra individual stitches. Like this one on row five, you had two individual stitches to get you back to your stitch marker. All right? So now we're going to do row six. And whether you're doing the six inch or the five inch, the rest of the pattern is exactly the same. The only difference is you're going to have less stitches if you're doing the smaller flyer. All right, so for row six, we're just going to stitch one single crochet in each single crochet around. We're not doing any more increases. And you will notice that it's going to start to curl. That's exactly what we want it to do in order to make the shape for the flyer. All righty, so one single crochet in each single crochet around. Working all the way around till we reach back to our stitch marker. See how it's starting to curl? That's exactly what we want it to do. So I've completed that row of just one single crochet and each single crochet around, and I moved my stitch marker. Now on this next row, we're going to be doing some decreased stitches. So we're going to stitch one single crochet in the next seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to stitch the next two stitches together. It's called single crocheting two stitches together 
or a decreased stitch. So we're going to go in the next stitch and pull up a loop. Then we'll go in the next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all three loops. Now we're going to stitch seven stitches again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we'll stitch another decrease stitch or stitching two single crochets together. And we'll repeat this till we get back around here to our stitch marker. Seven single crochets, then stitch the next two together and repeat all the way around. I completed row seven, stitching seven stitches and then stitching two together and repeat and I moved my stitch marker. Now one thing we need to do now is we need to flip it out. All right, so we're going to take it and flip it out because this is the inside and this is the outside. All right, and once we get in and stitch tighter, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get it flipped out. All right, okay, now for row eight, we're going to stitch five single crochets and then do our single crochet decrease or stitching two single crochets together. One, two, three, four, five. Then we'll stitch the next two together. So we'll go in, pull up a loop, go in the next one, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three loops. One single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, five, and then a double, or not double, but single crochet decrease. One single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, five, and a single crochet decrease, stitching two single crochets together. And so that's our repeat for row eight is five and then two together all the way around. All right, let's do row nine. Row nine is one and one and one and one. <laughs> You're going to do one single crochet and then stitch the next two together. One single crochet in the next and stitch the next two single crochets together. And this is really going to bring it in so that we get the shape of our flyer. So one single crochet and single crochet the next two together. One single crochet and single crochet the next two together. All the way around. And again, it doesn't matter which size that you're making, the back part is exactly the same. One single crochet, then stitch the next two together. One single crochet and stitch the next two together all the way around. You can see how stitching that one and then stitching the next two together over and over really brought in the top of our flyer. So now we're going to do our last row and our last row is just one single crochet and each single crochet around. And I like to pull this last row pretty tight so that it lays nicely on the inside of my Frisbee flyer. One single crochet in each stitch. 
working all the way around the frisbee flyer. So I stitched that single crochet in each stitch around. Here's my last stitch. And to make it lay nice and flat, we're just going to slip stitch in the next stitch. We're going to tie off, or cut off, I should say. We'll go to the next stitch from behind, grab those two loops, and pull them to the inside, and then tie that off. And we can weave this in with our needle. When I use two strands of yarn, I like to weave them in individually rather than using a great big needle. I think it just goes in a lot better. And we want to make sure we get that attached nicely because if these are going to be played with with kids and dogs and kitty cats, we want to make sure that it's not going to come undone. There's one. And now I'll do the other one and it'll be ready to be played with. <laughs> and there you go. Brand new Frisbee flyer. <laughs> So here's a Frisbee flyer we just made together, and here's the other two. And just remember, if you want to make the smaller size, just do one less row around, and then you finish it off exactly the same. Mm -hmm.